Good morning, you guys. It is check-in day. I was not going to record today, but I am so freaking excited because I just weighed in at the lowest weight that I've weighed in the entire prep, and that's 130.8 pounds. And um, honestly, I haven't weighed that in a really, really long time. Like, I don't know if I even have weighed that since like right after high school. So it's crazy, and I'm just really, really excited to share that with you guys. Um, 130.8, like, I, you can still see the sleep in my face. Like, I woke up, I checked in, because I woke up late this morning. Uh, so I'm just waiting to hear back from Coach on that. And I guess, you know what, this is perfect, because I am going to go to the grocery store today. So I'll bring you guys along with me to the store, and we'll pick up some food for the next couple of days. Uh, we'll see if he makes any adjustments to the diet or the cardio. And as of now, uh, everything is going really, really well. I'm glad that I did that check-in though because now I have my coffee and I can drink my coffee and not really worry about it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, get to driving a little bit here, and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Hopefully he tells me something soon, but 130.8, holy crap, like that's low for me. And it's just going to get lower, you guys. This is like an extreme, extreme, extreme sport. This is not for everybody. This is not for the faint of heart. You take your body to limitations that you think you have and you surpass those limitations. Like, don't think that this is something that everybody can just go and do. This is not for the average person at all. And it requires so much discipline and willpower because it's not sustainable at all you know this is we always talk about diets being sustainable and being something you can do for the rest of your life like this is not that this is an extreme diet for an extreme situation but nevertheless i'm very excited uh that's it i'm gonna drink my coffee for y'all now and i'm gonna shut up and i'm gonna get to driving so i'll see you guys in a little bit Work is done. My check-in was good. I got some additional cardio this morning. I don't know if I said that. No, I couldn't have because I didn't know at the time. So additional cardio, 20 minutes of hit three times a week. That's what we're looking at. I'm not too upset about it because I get to do it on the bike, which I love. So we're doing pretty good. I already went ahead and did that. It's about 1.30 right now. And I'm finally getting to the grocery store. So we are going to go into Trader Joe's and just pick up a couple of things. I don't need too much, uh, but I do just need some essentials because I'm running low on some items. The only thing is I usually don't buy everything here because I do try to shop where the prices are the best. And I have, I'm lucky enough to have an Aldi near me. So they usually have the best price for everything uh, that's not specialty items, but I really, honestly, I don't want to even drive over there today because it is usually a pain in the neck and all the people that go there are really, really rude and don't know how to navigate a grocery store. Okay. I went ahead and said it, but I know it's because of the area where this particular store is at. So instead of that, we're just going to go to Trader Joe's. And we're gonna pick up a few things. First, I'm going to make a list because I had one kind of going, but I don't really like to go in the store without one because then I get distracted, especially right now when I have to be so careful with my macros. I can't really be deviating. And because I'm pretty much hungry all the time, uh, it's hard for me to make the best choices without guidance. So I set myself up for success and make my list. And I recommend that you do the same just because it makes it so much easier to stay away from the things that you, you know, you probably shouldn't have like the chocolate and the cookies and all the specialty foods that Trader Joe's sells. So I'm going to take you with me to the store. We're going to grab some groceries, some essentials and then I'll bring it back to the car and I'll show you guys what I got in the car. And we might need to make another stop. I'm not sure yet, depends what all I get here. But like I said, I don't really need too much. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna see if they have some kind of like coffee beverage that has like low calories that I can just uh, have right now because I am also cutting off my caffeine consumption quite early in the day 
and um but I need caffeine right now guys because if I'm honest I I'm starting to feel a little bit depleted today and it makes sense because I'm I'm weighing the least I've ever weighed I'm looking the best that I've looked so far in this prep and it's really cool because everybody's like wow you look so good and that's that's really keeping me going right now because I am very very tired so but this is great you know this just means that it's all working and all the hard work is finally paying off I'm starting to see some results so I'm pumped anyways all of that let's go into Trader Joe's
we just spent $132 at Trader Joe's. I did get a couple of extra things. I know I said I didn't need that many things, but there was some um, produce that looked really good. And so I went ahead and took advantage of some of that. Also, I got a couple of alternatives um, for some of the things I got just in case I don't like it one way. I like to have options. And also keep in mind that I'm not just shopping for myself. I am shopping for other people that live at my house as well. So they will be eating some of this stuff too. Um, we will need to be making a second stop because some of the things there were like a million dollars and I was not trying to spend that money. Like chicken breast and the ground beef was pretty expensive. I thought about getting it and then I thought better of it. Um, I also didn't get the liquid egg whites there because the tiny little container of them is $4. And I'm pretty sure I can get the big one for like $5 at Winn-Dixie. So that's what I'm going to go and do. I'm going to stop at Winn-Dixie in just a little bit here. But first, we are going to go to the gym and do our second cardio session. And we're going to do our weightlifting. But I'll see you guys at Winn-Dixie later. And I know I was going to show you the stuff in the car. But the parking garage there was actually so noisy like there was so many things going on they had like fans on or something so I figured it would probably be better if I just showed you later on today as I'm putting this stuff away so with all of that I am going to head to the gym and I'll catch you guys in a couple of hours but it'll be just a second here for you when we're at Winn-Dixie just getting the last couple of things mostly the meats and the egg whites and a uh, couple of just bits and bobs I should also probably get a coffee so I'm gonna see about that too. Okay guys, so we're outside on my patio right now because this is the best place that I could find with the least amount of noise. So I'm just gonna go through all the stuff that I got at Trader Joe's. So I got a bag of shaved Brussels sprouts. I got some of these immunity uh, shots, two of the ginger and I think two of the turmeric. I just gotta find the other one. I got a bag of hard boiled eggs. Got a package of these Laughing Cow light spreadable cheese wedges. Sale on these local squash and they look pretty beat up but I don't really care so I got three of those. I also got a pack of tricolor bell peppers. Here's some more zucchini. These weren't on sale but they look pretty good. mushrooms, carrots, oven roasted turkey, more zucchini, a few of these 0% non-fat plain Greek yogurts, a box of jasmine rice, got two packs of these tilapia fillets and that's bag number one. Okay, bag number two, we've got a bag of this salad, two bags of just chopped up lettuce, romaine, got a package of smoked turkey breast, the other one was oven roasted, some fresh asparagus, I've got two things of that, then I saw that they had these grilled frozen asparagus, so I got both, um, just to try them out and see what they're like. And then I've got two bags of the plain cauliflower rice, and that's bag number two. Okay, bag number three. Whoops. I've got a bunch of bananas. Probably a lot of them will get frozen. Coconut oil spray. You guys saw me pick up these matcha, unsweetened matcha drinks. Just want to check them out and see what they're about. I'll probably sweeten it myself. Got some of these baby yellow potatoes, got some sweet potatoes, and a bag of lemons. The last bag from Trader Joe's, I've got two of these unsweetened original almond milk. I've got my favorite Hearts of Palm pasta. These are kind of expensive, but those are the macros for the whole box, and they're absolutely amazing. I got some more of that matcha and some of these black cold brew coffees. These are 10 calories each and two grams of carbs. So those look pretty good. The ingredients are just water and coffee. Another box of those, turmeric shot. I found this pickle seasoning. That's gonna go on some egg whites. And then I got this spicy taco sauce. And I didn't show you guys, but I also got two dozen eggs and those are already inside in the inside fridge. Okay, 
just went to Publix to get the rest of the stuff that we were missing. I got a bunch of diet soda, Dr. Pepper, zero sugar cream soda, the cherry, and the original. I found the Taco Bell sauce, so got that. Zero calories, obviously. This is for my boyfriend, but the macros are not terrible. It's like 20 calories per serving. Not bad. Got some Diet Canada Dry um, ginger ale. Got, of course, egg beaters, which is just like liquid egg whites, but yellow. So they taste better. They taste like yellow. Got some of these cold brew coffees from Lucky Jack. Never seen these before, but they look pretty good. This one is unsweetened. That one is sweetened. Got two bags of frozen chicken breast from Tyson. Let me take one out so I can show you. Boom. Two bags of this. Got two of these cold brew giant coffee things because I've been drinking a lot of coffee lately. Three pounds of 99% fat-free ground turkey, which I don't like, but we're going to try it anyways. Haven't had it in a while, so maybe this time it'll be fine. My boyfriend likes to eat these air-fried chicken things from Tyson, so got that for him. These things are friggin' clutch. They're really random. I found them at Publix one day, and I've been buying them all the time. I think they're kosher or something. I don't know, but... They have chocolate drizzle, and it's like three of them for 40 calories. They're pretty good size. Those are the macros. It's not bad. And we got some ground bison, which is somewhere in here. But now I can't find. Mm, and that's pretty much it. We're going to put this stuff away. Oh, and we got this to have a serving of at the movies. Because, you know, macros. So that's all we got. Okay, guys, I'm going to close out the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and seeing what I get at the grocery store. It's pretty boring for now, but that's prep life. So I'm currently packing up all my food for tomorrow because it's going to be a busy day. But I'd rather be prepared than not have my food when I need it. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and send this video to somebody that you think would enjoy it. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.